Okay, so welcome back to part 10. Uh, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. Uh, if we just go into the source view of the default page, I just wanted to show how you can add more of these uh, sections quite easily. If you click on the source view, and all you literally need to do is copy from the LI, the opening LI to the closing LI. So if we just copy that, add a bit of space, and paste in another section. If we now go back to the default page, as you can see, it's added in um, another section straight away. So that's quite easy to edit uh, and change. So if we just go back to source and just remove that for now. So what we need to do now is we're going to add the content on the right hand side. So as you can see here, we've got our div main right uh, waiting for the, the content. So if we go to the source view and then so main right, so inside of here. So here's the code for the, the right hand side. Um, so if we just start from the top, so straight away underneath main right, we've got a H6 called watch our product demo. And what I've actually done is I've actually copied the code for one of my YouTube videos and actually put it into the document. And then underneath that, there's a paragraph tag uh, with some text in. So if we just preview that in design view, as you can see, there's our watch our product demo. We've got the YouTube video here and then underneath we've got the paragraph. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually style um, that content. So if we come over to our main right and then we're going to drop in the following code to change that H6 tag. So it's main right H6, give it a dark color, a font size of 14 and the margin bottom is 20. So if we just go back to design view and as you can see straight away it's changed to look exactly the same as the one on the left hand side. Um, so if we go back to the style sheet, the next thing we want to do is actually style the paragraph. So again I'm just going to paste this in and this is going to be main right P, so again color font size all the same sort of thing and the, we've given it some margin as well so if we go back to the default page and as you can see that text is now looking the same as it is on the left hand side and we've got our YouTube video in the middle if we just go to the source I've actually created a div that goes around the actual YouTube video and I'll show you why if we go back to our design view in Photoshop as you can see around this video here, there's like a, a grey border. So that's exactly what I've done uh, for the design. So I've created an ID of YouTube. And then underneath here, I'm just going to save, I'm just going to copy and paste in the code for that div. Okay, so the div's called YouTube and I've got the border property. So it's 10 pixels all the way around. It's a solid border with this light grey colour. So if we go to the default, click on design and as you can see it's now going around it if we just preview this in the browser and there you go watch our product demo we've got the YouTube video in the actual design with the sort of grey border around the side and we've got the the, t the paragraph text directly underneath okay so now that's the the home page all designed and um, what I'll do next is show you how to create additional pages and create links for them uh, so if we just stop this browser, stop debugging, so if we just look at our menu at the top, uh, so we've got different links here, so to create an additional page all we need to do is right click on the top option at the top and click on add new item and from the box that opens we want to click web form and we want to give it a name, so I'll give this a name of services and then you want to make sure that the tick box for the select master page is ticked and you want to select the master page from the option okay straight away it's now created us the services page and it's auto created the uh, the code for the main content placeholder so if we now go to design view as you can see we're back to where we were again with the the default page where we've got this little thin sliver um, of the main content placeholder and we want to be adding our content into here so again it would just be a case 
of now creating more code with images and links and so on and so forth. I'm not actually going to create any content for this page as this tutorial series is going to go on for too long. Uh, so I'm just showing you how you create the additional page and where you need to put in your code for that page. Obviously now that we've got this services page it would be good if we could link the page with our uh, navigation. So if we go back to the master page and if we come up to the, the menu section here and as you can see for each of the links it's all default because that's the only page we had at the time but now we can call this services and then if we preview that in a browser and as you can see this is really thin because we haven't added any content yet but if we click on home that takes us to our home page that we've already created as you can see default.aspx if we click on services it takes us straight to our services page so we've now got that relationship between the pages so if we just go back to the default page and you can see obviously that's working so if we come out of the browser and do stop debugging what we want to be doing if I just show create all the pages so if we do again new item so it's going to be the web form and we'll call this one login select the master page that's that page now created. Uh, if we do the same again, add a new item. And the next page will be support. Click add and select the master page again. And then one more time, we'll call this contact. Click on add. And there we go. So if we now come back to the master page and we need to change some of these. So if we change that to login, change this one to support, and then this one will be contact. So if we now preview that in the browser again. Okay, so we're now we're obviously on the, the home page. So if we click on customer login. That now takes you to the login.aspx page. Obviously, again, we've got no content yet. Support takes you to the support page. Services, we've already done. And contact, that should work as well. And as you can see, all the pages now work. And it's just a case now of adding the content into the content placeholders. If we just go to the services page, obviously, at the moment, well, in fact, if we go to the default page, Okay, so if we just go to the default page here, as you can see here, we had to split the page into two. Uh, so we've got this left side and the right side. If you wanted to have that sort of layout for all the other pages, that's fine. You can do that. Or if you just wanted one big area, that's fine as well. So, okay, so if you just wanted one big area, you didn't want it split in two, you would just add the following code. So div id equals main content area and then just add all of your content in there and you'll have one big box that stretches 100% across the page and the height is set to auto so it will, so it will expand and contract with the content that's inside of it. Okay so now I've gone through that the only I think the last thing that I will show in the next video is how to set up the contact page so when somebody comes along they can fill out the form and the information will be sent to a certain email address so until then, if you could please comment on my videos, thumbs up and subscribe, that would be great.